Hey everybody, Alan Peterson here with uh, FictiveUniverse.com and AlanPeterson.com. And, uh, you know, with uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday, uh, that just uh, is just behind us now. And one of the things that I did get was a new uh, web hosting. Black Friday and Cyber Monday are, is a great time to get a, an incredible deal on hosting. And uh, I wanted to change from my uh, old web host company to this one here, DreamHost. And so I took advantage of that uh, during, uh, during the uh, Cyber Monday sale. And so uh, the one drawback of doing this, though, and it can be kind of daunting, is having to move uh, your sites over. And I have uh, several sites. I have my podcast site. I have my author site. I have my FictiveUniverse.com site. Um, and I also have another author site for a pen name. And so anyway, um, I thought I would record this video. I've been moving on my site. I have one left. I thought I would record a video for the last one. In case anybody out there is uh, switching host to DreamHost, um, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. They have a, a migration plugin uh, that makes it very easy. This is if you're using Word, WordPress for your website. If you're not using WordPress, this, this isn't really gonna. This video won't apply to you. But anyway, I just walk you through the process here. So uh, first thing you need to do is you need to get a DreamHost. You need to get your the website to set up here. You need to add it here. Now make sure that you do not change your uh, your um, DNS, the name servers from your old host to your new host until this until everything is set up and propagated over on the new host's server. You don't want to you don't want to cancel your other one, your old host until everything has been moved over. Uh, this uh, that's the only way to guarantee that you're not going to get any downtime. And so uh, so obviously uh, if you're going to do this. Um, Give yourself, you know, a few days, a week before your uh, your old account uh, is up for renewal, and once everything is moved over, then you can go ahead and uh, cancel the old hosting account. So anyway, with that little uh, caveat out of the way, uh, the way this gets done here, um, you just click on Add a Website, and this is in your DreamHost uh, dashboard, um, and you have several choices here. But this is uh, enter your domain, use a domain you already have registered with us or another provider. So this is another provider. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this is for CaseyAims.com. And click on add that. It's going to check to see. And it says here that yes, it's registered with another domain provider. Uh, provider. I use Namecheap. I don't use uh, uh, DreamHost for my uh, hosting, uh, for my name uh, domain registration. Uh, so anyway, so here's a site, here's a hosting, so click next hosting. I have the uh, unlimited, shared unlimited plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And uh, as you can see, everything is set up here. So I'll go ahead and set up the website. Uh, it takes, uh, it you know, it takes a, a couple minutes to do this. Um, so just a little caveat on that. You have to have a little patience and uh, make sure you have some time uh, to set all this stuff up. All right, so there we go. So it's uh, processing now. And like I said, this, take, this takes a few minutes, so. Uh, so FYI on that, I'm going to pause this for now. All right, so it's been now set up on the uh, on my DreamHost account uh, on their server now. Um, it's still hosted over, uh, still pointed over to the uh, my old host. So the site is still up and running. Uh, I'll just show you here. So here's the web, the site uh, still hosted under the uh, the old host. So once this is set, and so this this probably took about ten minutes. Uh, the nice thing to do too is that they send you uh, they send you uh, emails um, with the process, so you don't have to like be staring at it <laughs> as it as it gets installed. So once it's installed now, what I want to do, I want to set up a WordPress on here. So I click on Manage, and then click on the Install to install WordPress on that account here. And so um, I'm gonna select none because I'm migrating everything over, so I don't care about anything else. Uh, click on the domain, then I'll change it over here. So go click on next. Uh, like I said, I'll go with none. And then uh, these are the recommended plugins that they have. That's fine with me. So I'll go ahead and click install. Again, that's like also then it takes a couple minutes uh, for that to happen, as you can see. So the little counter starts again. All right, so once the uh, WordPress has been installed, you'll see here, it'll now have this little WordPress icon on here. Uh, instead of before, it usually has this file uh, icon. So now what we need to do is uh, click on Manage. All right, so now to actually do the, uh, to migrate the site from my old host to my new host here at DreamHost, 
uh, need to go here. Um, if you see the WordPress uh, section here, there's this migrating to uh, this site to DreamHost. And if you click on this link, it'll they have full instructions of what to do. But I'm going to show you this now uh, in this video. So you need to install the DreamHost plugin over here. So just go to log into your WordPress site under your old host account still. And then look, just search for the plugins. Just put in um, DreamHost. It'll pop right up. So this is the one, DreamHost Automated Migration. So go ahead and uh, click Install Now. And uh, just wait until this installs on your site. And then go ahead and activate it. Again, it takes a few seconds for that to happen, and here we go. So now we're in business. So you need to enter the email address of your uh, that you have with your account over at DreamHost. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And then go ahead and click on the Migrate button here. And uh, they use this blog, uh, blog a vault, so don't be alarmed when you see that. Uh, so you're going to need a migration key, and you get that from your DreamHost site here. So if you see here under the WordPress section, migrating the site to DreamHost, click on the Get Key button, and it's going to generate a key. So go ahead and copy that key, then go back to your uh, migration, uh, the migration plugin, and enter that key here. And then you're going to need uh, your uh, username and password of your WordPress setup. So once you have that information uh, entered, uh, click on the Migrate button. And then uh, just uh, you have to let it do its thing here. Close these down since I'm not adding a password here. And uh, it's validating the details. And again, this can take about a minute or so. So you need to be patient for this. Okay, so now it is a migrating uh, the, the site, as you can see, migrating kcames.com to kcames.com. And uh, this this part, that it can take a while, depending how big your site is. Um, you know, if it's a small site, it won't take that long. But this can take, you know, depending on the size of your site, uh, it could take 10, 15 minutes. So just an FYI on that again, you have to be patient. Uh, carve out some time to do this. And like I said, check your uh, Gmail. Your uh, I use Gmail, but check your um, e email because uh, Blog Vault will email you when it's all set up and done. So you don't have to, you don't have to sit here uh, staring at it while it's uh, while it's the, the migration is happening. Email that Blog Vault support sends. So it just says there, hi there. The migration for your site has started. We'll let you know as soon as the migration is complete. So like I said, you don't have to sit there and staring staring at it. Um, if you're curious about the process, you can always come here and they got these uh, progress bars that uh, shows you uh, the process. Uh, once everything is copied over, then the, then the actual migration will start and then the, this will be all set up on the new account. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let that process uh, finish here, the migration process uh, to finish. Once it's done, as you can see, uh, you'll get this message that migration is completed successfully. And then you can visit the migrated site. This is still posting under my own old account though. So now what we need to do is we need to change the name servers. If you click here on the DNS tab, uh, you'll see that it's uh, pointing to my old host still. So what we need to do is we need to update that and you do that wherever you, it is you are hosting your, uh, you've registered your domain name. Like I said, I use uh, Namecheap, so I'm gonna show you how to do that on Namecheap. And basically, you get, you click here on uh, Manage. And then here are the name servers, as you can see. And just uh, change them to uh, DreamHost. It's a very simple process here. And uh, DreamHost only uses uh, three uh, name servers. Uh, my old host uses four. But that's no big deal. And then cl click on the save. And boom, that's done. Now here it says DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. And uh, that might have been the f that might have been the case years ago, but now it's like it's, it's like almost instantaneous. Let's see. Let me click on refresh here to see if it's already yeah, look at that. It's already propagated. Like a couple minutes is all it takes. Now, as you can see, 
the name servers are, are right here that are currently being used. Now, one thing I, I, I like to double check, so uh, I like to go to um, to look it up on the ICANN uh, Whois. This is the registry that, go, that does all the manages all the domain registrations. So if you enter the site here, it'll show you the the name server. So as you can see, boom, already already happened. So it's it's happening super fast now. It's just, it's actually kind of amazing. All right, so now once that has uh, been happen, happened and the site has, has uh, propagated over, uh, now we can go ahead and uh, change it. Um, a final thing I'd like to do is I'd like to go into an incognito window just to make sure that it's working and enter the site, visit it from here, and uh, boom, there you go. Now this is already pointed at my domain, and as you can see, everything is working. Um, all the links, uh, for example, all the, all the links are working. Uh, let's see, let's click on a couple other ones, just to make sure everything is working. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, everything is working uh, just great. And everything has, uh, has uh, moved over to the new account. Uh, so once this is... Was, And you can also see from here that everything has now been uh, moved over. Uh, one final thing that you, that you want to do is uh, with DreamHost is you want to make sure that the new site has the new SSL uh, certificate. I notice it doesn't do it automatically. So just click on add because you want that SSL, that HTTPS on your domain. Um, so. Uh, oh, it's already they've already installed it themselves. All right, this is awesome. So this will takes probably takes about 10 15 minutes uh, for it to uh, To be set up and this is very important because uh, Google and search engines uh, Want you to have that uh, secure HTTPS on it. The SSL certificate is uh, added on uh, You'll see that this uh, lock will be go from this red unlock to green locked so you see this is secure hosting this is not secured at the moment, uh, but you just need to be patient and wait for that to uh, to show up green, and then you'll be all set to go. Once all of your uh, sites have been uh, transferred over uh, using the uh, DreamHost uh, migration uh, plugin, as you can see, uh, it's pretty simple, uh, especially once you get the first one out of the way. Uh, then it's just, uh, you know, getting the plugin installed and getting everything moved over is all done automatically. It just takes a little while for it all to be done. So like I said, make sure you, you get yourself at least, I would say at least, you know, three, four or five days uh, to do all this. Uh, if you just have one site, then it's no big deal. But if you have a whole bunch of sites like I did, like I do, uh, then uh, give yourself time uh, to, to do this. Once everything is working and you've tested it uh, uh, in incognito and you, you can confirm that the, the new DreamHost uh, name servers have been updated and all that, then, then, and only then, uh, is it safe to go to uh, your old web hosting account, which is what I'm going to do now, and cancel the service because now everything's pointed. Uh, everything's been moved over to DreamHost and everything is pointed over there now. Everything is, uh, is great. And so now I can go ahead and cancel my uh, old account, my old web hosting account. Uh, so that's it. I uh, just wanted to show this to you in uh, real time. Uh, see, this uh, comes in handy uh, if you're moving, uh, if you're switching over to DreamHost and you want to use their uh, the DreamHost, the Migrate plugin. Um, just you saw it here in action in a real life example.